Oh, so yes, y'all, it's been six months, six months since I've been using the M1 Mac Mini. And in today's video, y'all, I'm going to be showing you guys the best way as well as the easiest way to go ahead and clean your M1 Mac Mini. So that way you guys can go ahead and keep it looking fresh, running quick, running smooth like it did on day one right out of the box. And I got a secret weapon for y'all. I got a secret weapon for you guys that you're going to need in order to do it. And you already know I got it right here on the channel. So let's go ahead and break this bad boy down. <laughs> So it's been about two months now since I caught the M1 Mac Mini. Wow, low pro, fresh in the aisles. 16 to 8 gigabytes. Tell me what's your style. I'm here to tell you if it's good. If it's not, then it's not worthwhile. Let's see. Hold up. Performance is great. Apple chips stand up right now. Let's go. Let's go. No overheating. Got grace. The jigs up. Best desktop. I own the glow up. Let's get into this video and complete our two month doc order routine checkup. <laughs> I'm back with these bars, shining through the shadows. Hit that like button and subscribe right now while I spit bar live for you stereo. Swap. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and hop right into this bad boy. But before I actually show you guys all of the dirt that I'm built up on the inside of this machine that's been building up here for over six months now, and I don't want y'all judging me in this video because you know what I mean? Hey, I mean, it just, it just happens. I want you guys to go ahead and comment down below how many likes is on this video at the time when you guys are watching it. And for those that actually do it, you know, I, I, got, a little, I got a little something for you guys that's gonna be placed somewhere throughout this video. So definitely make sure you guys keep watching. All right, so before you guys actually crack this bad boy open, there's a couple things that you guys are gonna need to pick up that are cheap that you guys can pick up over at the site that I get all of my Apple accessory stuff from, which is called the AppleNest.com. Now in this kit, you guys are gonna get a lot of stuff. You're gonna get, let's see, you get a couple brushes, you get a microfiber cloth, you get an air bubble, you also get these Torx screwdriver sets. I'm gonna show you all of this stuff right here throughout this video. And again, I'll have a link to this kit that will be down in the description section below. And I highly recommend you guys pick this set up. So that way you guys can keep your Mac Mini looking clean. All right, so now that you guys know what I'm personally using and where you guys can go pick it up from, let's go ahead and open up this bad boy right here. And uh, let's go ahead and show you guys how to clean it. All right, y'all, so we got all the necessary things that we're gonna need in order to go ahead and clean our M1 Mac Mini. Now, the first thing you guys are going to need to do is you guys are going to need to take something like a regular like credit card or like a Amazon gift card that you guys can see right here. Then you guys can just go ahead and just pry around the outsides like so until you start hearing like little clicks. Now, it's not going to hurt it or anything like that. All you're doing is just loosening the back plate up from the back of the unit. And then once you go all the way around, then you're pretty much done with the card and you're never gonna need it again. So now we just take this plate off here. And as you guys can see, I got a little bit of dust in here, which we're gonna get to here in a second. Now here is the inside of the Mac Mini. Now let me go ahead and show you guys here real quick because we're gonna go a little bit in depth here um, as far as unscrewing some things and, and all of that. First thing we have in this plate here is we have is our torque screw. So we got our torque screws right here now the biggest things with these torque screws right here that's going to be important as far as with this unit is they all have security holes so these are the security hole torque screws because apple kind of has the type of torque screws that you guys are going to need that has a security hole on the center of all of these so you're going to definitely need torque screws that has the security hole on the inside of it so we're going to set those off to the side now the other thing here is we have is an air pump now this is going to be important here because we're going to need this to be able to kind of blow a lot of the uh, just top dust that we can see right out of the gate off of here. Now, the other thing that we get here is some brushes. So we get a couple brushes here. Let me go ahead and get everything. So we get uh, different types of brushes here and I'm gonna show you guys which one is gonna be used for the best uh, application when cleaning this. We also get two types of microfiber cloths. We get kind of like this silk one, and then we also get more of a thicker towel one that you guys can see right here. So now that you guys have seen everything in this kit, let's go ahead and start uh, the cleaning process. Now the very first thing I like to do is I like to take my air pump that you guys can see right here. Now I showed you guys some of the dirt that we have right in here. Now the first thing I like to do is literally just, just kind of blow some of that dust off of the top that I can get. Now once I do that, just literally just give this guy just a clean little wipe down and then it's gonna be just as new as it was day one. Now this here, we can just go ahead and sit that off to the side. The next part that you guys can see right here because there's a little bit of dust uh, that has built up on the outside of the unit before we actually get deep down on the inside. So again, I like to take this air pump and then I literally just kind of just get a lot of the top dirt that I can see here before I even go on the inside because this is gonna allow us to not bring a lot of that dirt uh, on the top here once we take kind of this metal plate off 
on the inside of the unit. So all I have to do is just kind of go in like so and just getting some of that dirt off the top. And then I take my small brush that we got right here with the unit and I just lightly go around the outside here and that just kind of brushes some of it that may have not gotten off with the air pump. And you guys can see some of it is popping up right here on the side and I just kind of lightly go around. You don't want to go too hard on this just because you know you don't want to damage anything or anything like that. So just go around the outside like so. Take this, do a final little boom like so. Take this, give it a nice little wipe down. Outside is good as new. All right, so now that we pretty much gotten the top level dirt off, then let's go ahead and take one of our screwdrivers. So we're gonna take kind of like the medium size one. We're gonna go ahead and unscrew all of these screws off. Now, one thing that I like to do is I like to use the cap here to be able to place my screws in so that way I don't lose the screws that I'm gonna need later on to be able to put this thing back together. Uh, but once you guys have those off, now we can literally just lift this plate off right here. Now it is gonna be attached, so you guys gonna to wanna to have to be careful with this because this is also attached to the Wi-Fi um, plate that is here on the top. So you guys just wanna be careful. Now we're not gonna unhook anything or anything like that because it's not really necessary to unhook anything uh, in order to get on the inside of this unit. As you guys can see right here, we got a little bit of dust that's kind of built up right here, but on the inside of this unit, it is pretty empty. So really makes it a whole lot easier for us to be able to clean. Now to clean this part right here, I genuinely will take uh, this kind of like the silk kind of microfiber cloth and I'll just do like a quick little light, light little wipe. Now, I don't recommend you guys use any type of like alcohol or use any type of liquids to be able to clean this unit because you don't wanna get any water or anything that's gonna be liquid on the inside of this unit. And this is why I personally like this kit the most because you know it's just a quick, easy way to be able to clean this and it gives you all the tools and everything you guys are gonna need. Now, one of the biggest areas of the M1 Mac Mini that's gonna collect the most amount of dust is gonna be the fan unit that you guys can see right here. Now, again, I'm not going to go ahead and disconnect anything too much because I don't wanna have to really deal with all of that. Now, I recommend you guys take the uh, air pump tool here and right here in the fan let me lift it up here for you guys to be able to see it right here in the fan you guys can see there's a lot of dust that has built up here on the inside of this fan as well as on the outside so what we want to do is is I'm gonna take this first uh, and I'm just gonna do a nice little real light wipe down on this unit here and as again this is just a fan here I can easily spin it so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice little wipe down here move this off to the side so I can get on the other side and then boom we are good to go there all right so now that we pretty much gotten that wiped down the biggest issue here is the fan so I recommend taking the air pump that you guys see right here and we're just going to go and do a nice little blow and then we're just going to get all of that dust out of this fan now this process here is going to take a little while because you're going to definitely want to make sure you get all of the dust as you possibly can off of this unit so just kind of do like a light spin around with the fan and as you guys are going you're going to see all of the dust is starting to come right off of the fan that has been built up for over six months uh alone so all right so now that we pretty much gotten a lot of that dust off now a lot of that dust is going to kind of fly up uh here you're just going to want to do a light little rub here with the microfiber now this is where i'm going to recommend you guys use this brush here is to be able to clean the fan a little bit better once you guys have blown all of the the top one off so you're just going to go and kind of go in an upward motion and that literally is just going to lift some of that dust that's trapped in there out of it. And if you want, you can kind of hold a fan still because it will move on you. Not too hard because you, again, you don't want to damage anything. All right, so now that we got that, just take your air pump and then just go ahead and go around it, getting all of that out of that fan. And then just like that, man, fan is clean. And as you guys can see here, boom, is back to its normal black clean condition. All right, so next thing I like to do is, is just kind of take this same here, again, because I don't like to take any of the internal parts and pieces of, uh, apart. So I just literally go from the sides here and just do a nice air pump to get all of that out of there, man, because this is gonna be important to be able to clean this. And if you want, you can lift it up to allow the dirt to kind of move around. 
in this unit and kind of turn it on its side if you want to. And that's gonna help kind of move the dirt to kind of fall out of the unit versus kind of moving it around because you don't want to just move dirt from one spot to the next. Again, do our final little wipe. Wipe inside of here. Take this one, do a final little wipe. And then just like that, you've cleaned your M1 Mac Mini. So we're just gonna line everything back up, take our screws. We're gonna start with the smaller screws here. All right, so now that we got that on there, do a final little wipe of everything. Literally, I wiped the entire unit off, wipe the back off. And our Mac Mini, man, looks absolutely stunning, man. Looks brand new. And then last and not least, I'll go ahead and wipe the plate out that we had the screws in, just so we're not putting any extra dust that might've gotten back from that. Boom, put that in there. Now the other thing is you're gonna just align this back, just have it straight up. And then all you gotta do is just push it down and you're good to go. M1 Mac Mini, fully clean and uh, ready for you guys to hook back up. All right, so there you guys have it, the full complete process of how to clean your M1 Mac Mini, as well as this perfect 12 piece cleaning kit that you guys can pick up over at the applenest.com. And again, I'll have links for everything down in the description section below for you guys to pick that up. Now, if you guys rock with this video, then I know you guys are gonna like these videos that are right up here on the screen for you guys. Thanks again for watching. See y'all in the next one. Squad. <laughs>